Sure, we all need to eat. According to the food industry, however, you don't need enough. That's why they resort to all kinds of tricks, misdirections, and creative practices to get you to buy more food. Of course, this makes them money as well. Here are our top 10 industry secrets to make you buy more food. Amazing! Number 10. Endorsement Secrets We all know that for years, food companies have paid celebrities to endorse their products. Think Justin Timberlake and McDonald's or Snoop Dogg and Hot Pockets. Food companies think it helps their brands get recognized, that some A-list star power will rub off on their pretty ordinary snacks. Cartoon characters are a big favorite, such as the McDonald's Despicable Me Happy Meals. What you may not know is that according to kids, having a cartoon character on the packet actually makes the food taste yummier. A 2010 study by the American American Academy of Pediatrics gave a group of four to six year olds two identical foods, one in a plain packet, one in a box with a cartoon on it, and asked them which one tasted better. 53% said they preferred the taste of the food from the cartoon box. Only 31% noticed it was the same food. Maybe they should only put cartoon characters on healthy foods instead. Number 9. Fast Food Secrets When it comes to using ingenious tricks to get you to buy more food, the fast food industry are the absolute masters. They stop at nothing to make sure we're always filling our faces with burgers, fries, and nuggets. It's a fact that sugar is addictive. That's why fast food giants fill their meals with large amounts of the stuff, even in foods where you wouldn't expect to find a lot of sugar. Does there really need to be 61 grams of sugar in KFC's large baked beans? They also try other tricks to get us to overindulge. They offer for their fries and drinks in different sizes, but present the largest size as the best value. People love a bargain, so they order the largest size and scoff it, even if they didn't want to eat that much. Plus, they package the food in a way that gets us to eat more. Putting all the food in one package, such as the big bucket of chicken, tricks us into thinking that it's one portion and that it's acceptable to eat it all. If all the chicken was in separate boxes, it puts up a psychological barrier to us opening them all. Number 8. Processing Secrets It's not just sugar that's addictive. There are all kinds of mysterious substances that we can get addicted to. And you can bet the food industry makes sure our food is loaded with as much of them as possible. Monosodium glutamate, or MSG, has long been added to foods such as chicken to enhance its flavor. According to food science expert Steve Witherly, who wrote the book Why Humans Love Junk Food, this is a big reason why fried chicken is so addictive. It enhances the pleasure we get from the salt taste from our food and keeps us coming back for more. Witherly also singles out potato chips, covered in salt. They're designed with vanishing calorific density, so they melt in your mouth, fooling the brain into thinking there are no calories in it, and that it's okay to have another one. That is, until you've polished off the whole packet. Number 7. Restaurant Secrets You probably think I'm being a bit harsh on the fast food industry here. Let me redress the balance. The guys at the other end of the spectrum, high-end restaurants, play tricks on us too. Why do you think the restaurants play classical music over the speakers? Research by the University of Leicester showed that classical music increases the amount of money people spend by more than 10%, compared to when there's no music. It creates a sophisticated atmosphere, making people looser with their cash. Then there are the menus. Restaurants put the dishes where they make the most profit next to the most expensive items on the menu. They know people won't buy the most expensive thing on the menu, but they may buy something that is near it, as they feel they're getting a bargain. Staying with menus when restaurants just put a number as a price, with no dollar or pound sign, that's a trick too. The brain sees the sign as a symbol of cost rather than gain, and subconsciously thinks of ways to protect their money. Taking it away removes this barrier. The brain is relaxed and happy to spend, spend, spend. Number 6. Political Secrets If they wanted to, governments could shut down a lot of food industry's murky practices. To stop that happening, big food companies spend a lot of money and effort playing politics. Whenever there are proposals to limit things like advertising junk food to children, organizations like the Center for Consumer Freedom appear, aggressively lobbying against the food police, supposedly sticking up for the consumer. Who pays for the Center for Consumer Freedom? Food companies like Coca-Cola and Wendy's, of course. The food industry also like to commission research studies into the health effects of their products. For example, a report from something called the Global Energy Balance Network reported that to lose weight, it's much more important to exercise than it is to cut down on food and drink. Who paid for it? Coca-Cola again. Next time you see one of these reports, find out who paid for it before you believe it. They could be more advertising than science.
Number 5. Health Secrets In today's health-conscious times, food brands want you to think they're good for you, so you'll buy more of them. Unfortunately, when a food screams at you from the packet about how healthy it is, it isn't always the case. A food may trumpet that it's sugar-free or made from whole wheat, and it will be true, but a lot of the time those claims are there to distract you from the unhealthy stuff that's still in there. Just because something has low sugar, it may still be high in salt, trans fats, and calories. Food expert Marion Nestle calls the these health claims calorie distractors. Why does the food industry employ these methods? Because they work, of course. Research showed that sales of potato chips labeled low sodium increased by 18% between 2012 and 2014, even though they're still loaded with fat and calories. Number 4. Use by Date Secrets You're hungry, but when you open the fridge, all that greets you are some random foodstuffs. And they look like they've been there a while. You grab something and check the use by date. It was over a week ago. Do you eat it or not? Of course, most use by dates are extremely arbitrary, put there by the food industry to scare you into throwing stuff out and buying in new. It's estimated that in the UK, 20% of food waste is created by overbearing use by dates. In the US, there is no official regulation that tells you how long foods like bread, milk, and cheese stay fresh for, so the industry just makes it up. It's much better to ignore the expiration date. Use your eyes and follow your nose instead. If it looks or smells off, don't eat it. Legend has it, the idea for expiration dates on milk comes from Al Capone. One of his relatives once got sick drinking rancid milk. Al then used his considerable influence to get dates printed on bottles. Number 3. Color Secrets Call me old-fashioned, but I like my food to be the right color, and I'm not alone. People have an accepted view of what color their food should be, and they won't deviate from it. It's why clear cola never really took off, and pink butter continues to be outsold by the yellow stuff. The food industry knows this too, so they go to a lot of trouble to make sure our food's color match our expectations, chemically enhancing it if necessary. In the US, many meat manufacturers inject their meat with carbon monoxide, which enhances its reddish pink hue. Scotch whiskey makers like to add a bit of caramel coloring to their liquor, making it look a slightly darker shade of brown than it would normally. Even cheese doesn't escape. Since the 17th century, farmers have been dyeing their cheese with herbs such as saffron, marigold, or carrot juice to make it more yellow or orange. Otherwise, most cheeses would be white or pale yellow, and that wouldn't do at all. Number 2. Supermarket Secrets As much as the food industry likes to play with our food, it's advertising and packaging to make sure we buy it. Your supermarket is doing its best to manipulate you too. Here are some of the many tricks supermarkets use to get you to buy more stuff. We all know that they put impulse purchases, like candy by the checkout, to snare us in while we're waiting to pay. But there's much, much more. Did you know that trolleys are bigger than they used to be? A study found that if they doubled the size of trolleys, people would buy 19% more product. How about that the laid-back music they play in supermarkets causes you to walk slower, so you see more, and buy more items? How about that some supermarkets have made their checkout lanes narrower and removed shelf space by the conveyor belt, so people can't easily change their mind and offload items before they pay? It's supermarket sorcery. Number 1. Brain Manipulation Secrets The food industry employs psychologists to work out how they can subliminally influence our minds, so we buy more product. Researchers in Belgium figured out that humans are drawn to glossy objects because shiny and glossy surfaces make us think of water and our brains remind us that we need it to survive. As a result, soda companies make their bottles and cans glossy, with bubbles and dewy drips all over them. They actually make you thirsty looking at them. Another trick the brain plays on us is associated weight with quality. For example, people believe a heavier bottle of wine will be of better quality and more expensive than a lighter one. Wine companies will put their lower quality wine in heavier bottles, allowing them to charge more for them and get away with it. Finally, we perceive the color green as being healthy. It's the color of vegetables, the great outdoors, and the incredible Hulk, who was very strong. So have a guess when a food company has to publish its brand's fat, salt, and calorie content on a label. What color will the label be? Have you spotted any more ways we're being manipulated by the food industry? What foods can you never resist buying? Leave us a comment to let us know. Thanks for watching.